All right, 625 now, and, you know, Connecticut has a reputation. There is a stereotype, and there's a Twitter account that is kind of enhancing that stereotype. Yeah, really harping on that stereotype. Let's bring in David Fish from Radio 1041 this morning. All right, Fish, have you had a chance to look at some of the tweets she's been sending out? Yeah, I, I've checked out some of her twits, and I think she is a twit. She's killing us here in Connecticut. Listen, though, you got to admit, Ann, they're kind of funny, aren't they? Well, that's just it. I mean, you think, oh, my gosh, this is horrible, and you can't help but like the chuckle inside. When she says, do I root for New York or Boston, it kind of depends on my mood or possibly my boyfriend. I mean, let's be honest. Some girls choose the team that their man is rooting for. Listen, I, I think she's great because she tells it like it is. And listen, I think Connecticut's a great place to live. Born and bred here, it's my it's my home turf. But you listen, know, which, there are some stereotypes about this place that are true, and she clearly points them out, right, Chris? I think that's just it. Is Any kind of humor is based on, well, not any kind, but a lot of humor is based on stereotypes. What's interesting is that someone posted kind of a blog post about this Twitter account, CT Girl Without the Eye Problems, uh, and said, I'm a Connecticut girl, and I never had these problems, and I'm offended by this. The thing about Twitter, though, Fish, right, is if you're offended, you don't have to follow the person. Yeah, that, that, that's the great thing. It's, and the same thing with radio and TV. If you don't want to watch, you're allowed to change the channel. I think she's fascinating. I follow her, and I we got to get Ann on board to follow her on Twitter. And you got to follow there. this Twithead. Think she's there. <laughs> this Twithead. All right, thanks, Fish. Uh, 626.